Police officer shoots a suspect after investigators say the suspect pulled out a gun. I'm Julie Bragg. And I'm Bill Fitzgerald. A CBS 6 viewer took cell phone video of the scene right after the shooting. We have blurred it, but you might still find it graphic. You can see a suspect on the ground being tended to by officers as the officer who may have fired at him stands nearby. We've got complete coverage for you tonight. Jake Burns spoke to witnesses who saw the aftermath of the shooting. But first, Jarita Patterson spoke to police, and Jarita, take us through what they said. Bill and Julie, here's the deal. Police are saying they tried to speak with a man here at this South Side Motel described as questionable. That's when things took an unexpected turn. According to detectives, that man pulled out a gun aiming directly at police, who in turn fired off a single shot. This was the scene Wednesday morning. At about 10.52 a.m., we had officers patrolling the area. Here at the Richmond Inn and Suites, just off Midlothian Turnpike on the city's south side. Police say they saw something suspicious, an illegal transaction of some kind. The individual took off on them running. Richmond police gave chase, and according to Chief Alfred Durham, the man then made an unexpected move. He reached into his waistband and pointed a weapon towards the direction of our officers. Meanwhile, detectives are gathering evidence in an area they know all too well. This hotel, motel here, is where we get a majority of our calls for service for this precinct, and there's some issues here. An internal investigation is now underway. One thing that I tell folks, always let the investigation take its course. A course that could take some time to navigate. Meanwhile, detectives are telling us they were able to confiscate a gun following the ordeal. As we learn more details, including the alleged gunman's identity, we will pass that along. Working for you on the city's south side, Jarita Patterson, CBS 6 News. Thanks, Jarita. And police say that this video taken after the shooting and posted to Facebook will be an element of their investigation. As part of our complete coverage, Jake Berman spoke to witnesses and walks us through what happened after the shot was fired. Jake? Well, Julie, as you mentioned, police began to administer aid to the man almost immediately. It was a very tense scene with people shouting at officers from a nearby balcony. We spoke with one man who was there and says he's actually very close with the suspect. We were just standing out there talking because he was about to leave. Richmond Police Chief Alfred Durham responded to the Richmond Inn Wednesday and had a brief conversation with the man in red. That man asked that we call him David A. and says he's a close friend of the man who was shot. In fact, he says he was talking to him in the moments before it happened. Like as soon as he took off, I kind of took off after him like because like, I want to know like what's going on because I know this is a good guy. Investigators tell CBS 6 patrol officers witnessed the suspect in some sort of hand-to-hand -hand transaction right before he ran from them. Apparently they observed some like, like some type of illegal uh, maybe transaction. They attempted to con make contact with the individual. He took off running. They gave pursuit. I know it was wrong to run. That's a crime in itself. David A. says he's not sure why his friend ran from officers. He says prior to the shooting, the suspect handed him a duffel bag of personal items. Absolutely no contraband. I can take a drug test right now, and there was absolutely no drugs, no guns. CBS 6 was sent this cell phone video of the tense moments after the shot was fired. You see police tending to the suspect's wounds. <laughs> He's at the hospital. David A. says he knows his friend has a gun, but thinks he would never point it at police. Now, this area of Midlothian Turnpike has had its fair share of problems. In fact, I spoke to one woman not long ago who says just the other day she was walking down the street and found a gun laying on the side of the road. Now, what's being done about that? We'll have much more at 11. Tune in to my colleague John, uh, John Burkett's report for all the answers.